This is Aaron with Ana Computers from AnaComputers.com with another potential fix for a problem you might be having with a computer game, a PC game, more specifically Hunting Unlimited PC 2009. Fix Prism 3D engine problem for that game. When trying to play Hunting Unlimited 2009, you may get Prism 3D engine problem pop up and you are unable to play that game. You can try updating your DirectX to a most current version. So I have a link already open at Microsoft's DirectX website URL. I will leave in this video's description a link to my blog post where you can quickly access that URL to Microsoft's DirectX download center. So as you can see here, you have to select a language, DirectX and User Runtime Web Installer. The Microsoft DirectX and User Runtime provides updates to 9.0c and previous versions of DirectX, the core Windows technology, etc. It gives you some further details. It gives you the most current version, 9.29.1974, a date published, system requirements, supported operating system, Windows 7, Windows Server 2003 Service Pack 1, Windows Server 2003 Service Pack 2, Windows Server 2008, Windows Vista, Windows XP Service Pack 2, and Windows XP Service Pack 3. Install instructions, pretty quick. You just click on the download button on this page to start the download or choose a different language from the drop-down list and click go. Do one of the following. To start the installation immediately, click open or run this program for its current location. To copy the download to your computer for installation at a later time, click save or save this program to disk. Any additional information, just some additional information about DirectX and some related resources. So back to my blog post. And then here is pretty much reiterating what I just went over. But to start an installation immediately, click open or run this program from its current location. Update your version or you can save it. You can click save as and save it to your desktop. Then you have to wait for it to download. And then you would run that install file. That might fix your issue. You just need to update DirectX. Another possible fix for this Prism 3D engine problem for Hunting Unlimited 2009 is you might need to update your version of Java. So update your version of Java to a latest version, download and install a latest Java version. I already have that website open. Again, I will leave a link to my blog post that has a quick hyperlink to Java's download webpage. As long as those links still work in the future, you should be able to quickly access them. Java downloads for all operating systems. Recommended version 7, update 60. So before I go over these quick instructions, another way to update your Java instead of going out to Java's website and then downloading a more current version is you could have Java set to automatically update or automatically look for updates. And then it'll download it. However you have it, you go into Java properties and then you go into the automatic updates perhaps it's not turned on and you turn it on, then it'll go out on the internet and it'll prompt you that there's a new version of Java, you download it, and then you install it. Or you could manually update it yourself. And then you select the file according to your operating system from the list below to get the latest Java for your computer. You can remove older versions, and then it even tells you what Java is. But it's pretty simple here. Which should I choose? Which Java version? You might That might be important now, isn't it? <laughs> Depends on what Windows operating system you're using. As well as on this download page, there are instructions for Mac and Linux. But let's just stick with Windows, Microsoft Windows operating systems. Choose the online download System requirements for right now, Windows 8 Desktop, Windows 7, Windows Vista Service Pack 2, Windows Server 2008, Windows Server 2012 64-bit. And then a quick note, since 
Microsoft no longer formally supports, they don't create updates anymore for Windows XP, but you can buy a package, a support package, but that could be another discussion for a different blog post or a different YouTube video. But anyways, so it says here, as of April 8, 2014, Microsoft stopped supporting Windows XP, and therefore it is no longer an officially supported platform. Users may still continue to use Java 7 updates on Windows XP at their own risk. But support will only be provided against Microsoft Windows releases, Windows Vista or later. But you can still install those versions of Java at your own risk. And then you just, there's two different ways. There's a Windows Online way. You just click on the download button or the Windows Online, and then it'll start downloading Java software for a Windows Online installation. And or Windows Offline. You click on the download arrow or the Windows Offline hyperlink. It downloads a 28 megabyte installation file that saves it onto your computer, then you have to start that install file off of your computer, and then it'll update Java for you. Or you could click this Windows Online. It's a small, it's only 896 kilobytes, so that's less than a megabyte. And then that will download a more current version of Java in the background, and then it'll start the installer. And here's some instructions. Well, basically after, let's see what kind of instructions. If you need further help, there's instructions here. It just tells you pretty much what I reiterated. There's an online version or a manual. Run the installer, click run to say or to save the file for later installation, click save, then it saves it to your hard drive, then you have to double click that executable, then you'll get to this menu. The installation process starts, you just click on install. You have to, I guess, agree to their terms of service. And then some dialogues, and then bam, click close. And you may need to restart your web browser. You might need to do that. I would recommend you test it. And there's a hyperlink to go to and test your version. And then hopefully that will fix your issue with hunting unlimited PC 2009 not working because of a Prism 3D engine problem error. Finally, here's another option. So that could be two solutions. Maybe your first solution to upgrade to DirectX drivers or, you know, upgrading DirectX didn't fix your issue. To a most current version, that didn't fix it. Then you tried to update your Java. That didn't fix it. So that's number one. Number two, this is number three possible tip. Finally, you can try updating your video card drivers. Right click my computer, select properties, then select a hardware tab, then click on device manager and expand display adapters. Right click on your display adapter or adapters, plural, if you have more than one video card. You might have a onboard integrated video card as well as a PCI or PCI Express or even AGP video card. So choose whichever video card that your computer is using. If you have multiple video cards, if you know you just have one video card, you just right click on that display adapter, then choose update driver, and then choose yes this time only, or yes now and every time I connect a device in a hardware update wizard. Then Microsoft will go out to the internet and look for Windows updates. It'll look for driver updates for your display adapter and then if it finds some it'll notify you and then you just click start or you click next and then it'll install those updated drivers for you and hopefully upgrading updating your video card video display adapter drivers fixes your issue if that doesn't fix your issue 
you can find a name of your graphics card and try to find a newest driver for it. Here are requirements to run Hunting Unlimited 2009. So a quick comment. It's not always advantageous to use Microsoft's video card drivers or really any of your computer hardware drivers, but it's sometimes it's easy, it's quick. You just go to the Update Drivers tab and then it, it will go out to Microsoft's database and look for driver updates. That might not fix your issue. Another option, I guess a fourth potential f tip is you want to find out your graphics card, the model. So it could be a IBM integrated graphics adapter, or it could be an AGP or a PCI, PCI Express. If you install it yourself, you could find the box that had your display adapter in it and then find the model number on that box. Another way to find a model, as long as you already have drivers installed, you can go into control panel and then the exact same place. So you go back into control panel, then you expand the display adapters after selecting properties, then go to the hardware tab then click on device manager and then expand display adapters and then right click your display adapter your video card that should tell you your model number you can copy and paste it or you can just type it into google and then try to find your manufacturer's display drivers they might have newer drivers than microsoft does to me it's preferable that you use your manufacturer drivers for modems, video cards, sound cards, etc. But that's just kind of my personal preference. But it's your choice. So you, you can either choose Microsoft Windows drivers or the actual manufacturers. But if there was not a driver update using Microsoft's Windows updates or there was an update but it didn't fix your issue, well, you could go out to the hardware manufacturer's website for your video card and then download it and then manually install it. So here are requirements to run Hunting Unlimited 2009 video game. Operating system, Windows XP or Vista at least, and then processor, a Pentium 4 1.4 gigahertz or compatible. So that's a that's just a single core. So if you have a dual core or an i3, i5, i7, you should be just fine. RAM, you need at least 256 megabytes of system RAM. DirectX, you need DirectX 9.0. That might be included on a CD with your video card. If you received a CD for your video card, it might not. Hard drive space, one gigabyte hard drive space, and then obviously a CD-ROM in case you need to install DirectX 9 or your video card drivers. And then video card, a 64 megabyte DirectX 9 graphics card that supports DirectX 9. Sound card, DirectX 9 compatible sound card, and then probably a mouse and keyboard or maybe a joystick or however you play your video games. These tips were written specifically for Hunting Unlimited PC 2009, but I think you could use these tips for other video games where you are having problems with Java or DirectX or a more specific problem. Maybe a specific error or a specific, you know, Prism 3D. So, anyways, you can always browse to anetcomputers.com for other potential fixes, tips to help solve your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening.